case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In a ruling that highlighted the fine line between omission and active deception, a St. Louis Court of Appeals affirmed the fraud conviction of a vending machine business owner in the 1963 case, Lindbergh Cadillac Company v. Aaron. At the heart of the matter was the vendor's secretive trade-in of a defect-riddled automobile to an unsuspecting car dealership, a fraudulent act that cost him a penalty of $759. The drama unfolded when the defendant traded in a car to the plaintiff, the car dealership, intentionally concealing crucial flaws within the car's motor block. The hidden defects were deliberately masked with permatex, making it clear that there was an attempt to hoodwink the dealership. The plaintiff then incurred reconditioning expenses trying to restore the vehicle, leading to the origination of a lawsuit against the deceptive vendor. Evolving from the trial court's determination of concealing defects being tantamount to fraud, the vendor was initially asked to reimburse the dealership to the tune of $759. Disgruntled with the court's decision and his perceived unfair calculation of damages, the defendant filed an appeal. He stipulated that his omission did not constitute a breach of sale contract terms. The appellate court, however, underscored that the element of sneaky non-disclosure critically influenced the represented and actual value of the car. In a riveting reaffirmation of the lower court's verdict, the appeal was dismissed. The bench upheld that the defendant, well aware of his deception, effectively committed fraud. This verdict, undeterred by the defendant's protestations, pointedly elucidated that silence, while understood to be a passive act, could nonetheless actively validate fraud in sales transactions when the intention to mislead was evident. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law, elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.